My artwork is an extension of who I am. I, I've survived my whole life w with my art. Uh, I've been wood carving for about 12 years now. Before then, I was an airbrush artist for about 35 years. I like wood carving because it appeals to almost everybody from young to old and from people from all over the world. I had a, I had a hard time passing history class in high school. So my teacher said, well, you're a really good artist, so why don't you do a poster for every time we do a test or every section we're on, do a poster for us and we grade you on your poster. You can only get a B plus, so it's not fair to the rest of the class that I give you an A. So I ended up, you know, passing history with a B plus, and I couldn't remember anybody's name and date. <laughs> <laughs> with a chainsaw, it's almost an extension of, of who I am, and and if I think fur, it turns into fur. If I'm thinking feathers, it, it gets like feathers. It's kind of nice to re relate to that saw and to have it do what I wanted to do and such it quickly. Chainsaw becomes a magic wand, and when you when you wipe it across something, it turns into what you want it. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, uh, eight foot grizzly, it took me about a month, I think, uh, working on it off and on. And I've done a, a mountain lion that I, I really enjoy. It, it's um, going down a rock, life size female lion. About five years ago, I won a contest to carve the town monument. The monument right now, it, it, it's been five years since I glued four logs together with Gorilla Glue. I've used no metal or no other thing, but it's standing five years and I haven't seen any separation at all. I glued it together by using its own weight to glue it. We took a case of glue to do each glue up. It was about eight feet as we stacked them. And uh, then we got a crane in and, and stood the whole thing up. And from there, we uh, built scaffolding around it and built platforms. I got Buffy at five and a half weeks old, and I started the town monument right at the same time. And I built steps up to it temporarily and a bench so the tourists, when they stopped by, could have a place to sit and get their picture taken. Buffy used to go up and pose with all the tourists as a little puppy. You know, every time they sat up there, she thought that was her job to sit and pose with the tourists. For an, a true artist, it's not about the money, but it's about relating to people. This is a, a magnificent, magnificent monument. <laughs> I'm doing it now with my wood carving, and that's why I'm sticking with that. And it really came from a very talented artist, uh, David Roy. David, thank you very much. You're such a talented man. That's the most that any artist could ever ask for. This wonderful artifact that's gonna remain here for many years to come. David, thank you so much. I'm just trying to fulfill my obligation here on this planet. You know, God gave me a gift and I just want to fulfill it. My name is David Roy, I'm 63 and I'm a woodcarver. I'll never stop evolving, I'll never stop. Really all in all, I don't think I've created my best piece yet. <laughs>